Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Venom Vlog. And I thought I'd do something a little different this time. I've done this stuff before, and of course I, I get feedback from you guys all the time. And I am in the middle of a couple ideas for the next Venom Vlog. And I figured, well, while I'm taking my time with those ideas, um, why don't we do something that actually sounded interesting? And I think it's something we talked about doing a while ago and I just never got around to it. So big shout out to Azriel, who is a, a viewer of this channel who sent me a link um, from a post that they posted on uh, Quora, uh, who I, I believe is, a, I, I think I'm saying that right, uh, but it's a website where I guess you can ask questions and fans can chime in with stuff. And someone asked, uh, who are some of Ven Venom's villains aside from Carnage? And I think Azrael, what he put together here was really neat. He put together essentially what he thinks is Venom's rogue ga uh, rogues gallery. And we had talked about that before where Mike Costa kind of came in and started adding a rogues gallery or tried to build one for Venom. And even before that, uh, there was Rick Remender who was doing that with Flash Thompson. And he was bringing in characters like Jack-O-Lantern. So, um, so I kind of like this list. So I'm going to put a link to it down below if you guys want to go check it out. Please do go show Azriel some love. Uh, Azriel, who I believe is listed here as being from Brazil, if that's the case. Obrigado. Thank you so much, my friend, for uh, sending me this link um, because it got me thinking. Like, you know, because you asked me, what, who do I think would be in Venom's Rogues Gallery? And I can only comment on that um, up until the current run. I haven't read the current run, but. You know, Azrael does mention Meridius, I believe, who's a character from the new run and some of the new characters. So them, I don't know. But but uh, Azrael did list in here the Jury, uh, the Life Foundation, the Life Foundation symbiotes, and even villains like Scorpion and Jack-O-Lantern, who I would agree. I, I think J uh, Scorpion and Jack-O-Lantern are great characters to pull away from like Spider-Man and Daredevil and a couple other characters and start giving them to uh, Eddie Brock Venom um, as far as street level villains go. Uh, maybe it's cool that he has a cosmic villain too, like Null and Meridius, I guess. Like, you know, it's cool to have both because it is an alien from space mixed with a human from Earth. So it's nice to have both, you know, for sure. Um, but I also would like to see Kraven, you know, take another Spider-Man villain. I mean, I feel like you've done everything you could with Kraven when it comes to Spider-Man. And they've already had, like, some of their best stories ever told already done. So I kind of don't want Kraven hanging around Spider-Man anymore. So I'd like to see him hunting Venom. And becoming like a Venom's rogue, um, you know, along with Craven's family, like all of his kids and stuff, at least the ones that are still alive. Um, but I'd also like to see Mr. Negative. I think that's another street level character that would be really fun because obviously he could, you know, if he touches Venom, he could essentially turn him into anti-Venom briefly. You know, even if you just have it as a side effect for a couple issues, it's a good way to bring anti-Venom back from time to time with Eddie Brock and stuff and those kind of powers. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I, I guess I never really thought too, too much, but we did talk about that a while ago of building a rogues gallery. Like if, if someone was like, oh, if you ever got to write Venom, you know, what would you do? And I said, well, I'd probably tell street level stories. And I guess I would try to, in, at least in my head, kind of how Mike Costa did, bring in these street level villains for him to fight and kind of build him a rogues gallery. I like that they had him go hang out with Alchemex and Liz uh, Allen and that started to build his, like, you know, uh, I guess, supporting cast. I just, I like stuff like that. I like when characters are written that way, um, where they're kind of written almost episodic and TV show-like. And so you start, it's like, okay, we need recurring characters, people for them to see, for, you know, every couple issues or so. And, you know, and Donny Cates did that a little bit. He would he brought in Rex, but then, like, he got rid of Rex. And then he uh, brought in some other characters and he got rid of them. But he brought Dylan in and kind of gave Eddie a, a core responsibility which i thought was one of my favorite things about donny cates's run which is that is bringing in dylan because that ultimately changed how venom stories are told uh, you know having dylan you know as as a as someone who's in eddie's life now and eddie has to look over um and then uh, so i you know that's that's really neat and now we know that there's a uh, an agent venom um, and weighing on another, you know, planet. So that's a cool character to bring in every now and again to have him have them interact her and Eddie. Um, so I don't know. I, I I thought this was just a cool thing that Azriel sent me, and uh, and I thought it got my wheels turning of like what other characters would I add to Venom as rogues? And I would say for me the top two would probably be Craven and Mister Negative for sure. Um, but I would also probably find some other Daredevil villains that aren't being used a lot, maybe like Stiltman. And, uh, and honestly, I'd probably have the Slingers show up every now and again. I love that they brought Hobie Brown back and made him the, the leader as Hornet. 
So I would like to see that band get back together and uh, and maybe they are they go after Venom. They're just like, you know what, dude? You know, this guy, maybe he's an anti-hero. Maybe he saved the world. Maybe he is the reason the world got attacked and he had to save the world. But either way, you know, we, we should, you know, really keep an eye on him. I think that, that'd be a good group to have around as, uh, you know, people that Eddie has to interact with from time to time. Um, Big Wheel, another Spider-Man villain. I would just find these obscure characters or characters that not a lot of writers want to do stuff with and I'd bring them in to uh, to deal with. Like, I liked, uh, I think I think Mike Costa did it or Colin Bunn did it. He brought in D-Man during his Venomized story and I thought that was kind of fun because D-Man's such a, a cheesy character. So I would just try to find more characters like that. Anyway, so that's my answer to Azrael's question. I added a couple rogues, but now let's pass the question on to you. What villains would you add to uh, Venom's rogues gallery? What kind of uh, characters would you like to see him interact with, you know, on a consistent basis sometimes um, in, in like an ongoing series or something? I'd love to know down below and uh, we'll continue the conversation down there for sure. So list me like your favorite three that you'd like to see him interact with, um, whether they're supporting characters or villains, whatever you want, put them down below. And Azrael, thanks again for the idea for this video. I just thought this was fun. Um, to kind of shoot the crap and, you know, and answer some questions, you know, like we, you know, normally we do this on live streams, but since I haven't done a lot of live streams lately, this is a fun thing to make, you know, who should be in villain, you know, Venom's rogues gallery. I, that's just a cool topic for video. And like I said, I think we talked about this once way back when, and I just never got around to it. So Azrael, thanks for the reminder. Thanks for sending me that link. I'll put it down below. If you guys want to go see who made the cut on Azrael's list and then share your list down below with us as well. Thanks so much. I'll see y'all in the future. Peace.